Welcome to the Comicraft server. Ooh, what a view. Our farms are down there. We are above our base now, on top of the mountain. I came here to see if there was any snow, because I felt like making some snow golems. Um, for protection and for the colors, white and black, that's perfect, right, for our color scheme. But there isn't any. There are, however, a lot of animals. <laughs> that's good to know. Maybe we can lead one or two of these down. You can never have enough pets. Today, I'm going to start a big project and I will try to finish it as well in this episode. I wanted to make some music for the Carmival entrance. So I posted a suggestion to the server members and they seem to approve. Um, I was thinking of the old um, piece, Entrance of the Gladiators, that you can hear on circuses. <laughs> you know, that one. Um, so yeah, we need to start gathering some resources for the instruments. We need clay blocks for the flute, gold blocks for uh, the bells, packed ice for uh, the shines, and uh, wool as well for the guitars. And then we need to build the thing. <laughs> and we need a lot of redstone. But let's maybe start by See if there is any clay down there. It uh, it should be. Um, I don't think I have taken the clay from these small lakes. Yeah, it certainly is. So can you do like this maybe? No. Still clay balls. But that's okay. So we need uh, almost a stack, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's great with this. Is it the Aqua Affinity? I think so. Makes it a lot easier to work in water. Um... So I will do this for a while, and then we move on to the next ingredient. Oh, I just used the wrong pick, <laughs> as usual. So this works. This is actually a little faster, getting the blocks right away like this. All right. Next up, wool. I think we will need a, a stack of wool too. I'm going for white wool, just to keep it one color. That's what I have the most of here. <laughs> Look at that slime monster peeking through there. Beautiful. No one is selling packed eyes on the server, but there should be a portal somewhere in the nether that leads to an ice spikes biome. You can come next time, Patience. I'm not sure that you will fit in the narrow corridors over here. Man, this is fast. A lot faster than I expected. And uh, now I have some snow too for the snow golems. Next up is uh, the gold farm. I haven't been here yet. Exciting. Oh. 
Oh no, it's something advanced. Oh! Oh, it's one of those. Mine cart elevator? Maybe? <laughs> nice sound effects. Oh, that's an impressive view right there. Uh, oh. Can I? Oh, oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. I guess I'm stuck here. I'll be right back. <clears throat> so that's all sorted now and we're up here and uh, I should just shoot any of these guys I think <laughs> and um, just stand here and collect the goodies okay um, um, zombie on a chicken just <laughs> yeah got over here somehow um, let's see what I end up back at my base uh, I'll just tell dots I think I can just go back and collect my stuff hopefully so my first day at the gold farm just wasn't my day. I lost most of my armor. I think that's it. Uh, actually, the rest was still there. But it's a mystery how the the pigman with the chicken got there. But it's um, just uh, typical of me to to make those kind of unexpected dis discoveries um, but yeah my experience is up it's a really great farm and um, yeah we're slowly building our way to up to the amount we need for the um, Comeval entrance music so I'll just keep on grinding here for a while I left most of my good stuff in here down here now so if I die again it's not that bad we have more than enough gold now so yeah, let's put the rest of it there uh, do I keep let's keep some rotten flesh for our dogs actually and uh, we could put the rest of the nuggets back and this of course is an amazing farm Duds and Bank has outdone themselves once again so I thought we should leave something for them donation so one block each and then these lovely kind of gold coins which looks nice and I know duds love these okay so next up is um, going into spawn and uh, do I still have a yeah silk pit pick great yeah we can take all these back now um, see if the redstone uh, shop is uh, stocked up because we're going to need a lot of it if I remember correctly this is the shop 
I think I did the same thing last time. You should go down in a more fancy fashion here, but yeah, that's just me. Uh, okay, we need maybe some dust. But first and foremost, if there are any repeaters, observers. SMH was only 27 left, still paid. You got a stock up, boy. <laughs> and uh, which boy is that? I wonder. Uh, okay, no repeaters. Let's see. Rip, rip, E. Hmm, haven't I unlocked that recipe? I guess I haven't. Ah, but I think it's, uh, hmm, two torches, one dust and three stone, I think. So maybe we can one diamond, one stack. Let's, uh, hmm, that's 32. Um, okay, let, let me do the math. Okay, so one diamond for two stacks. Let's take them, good price. Um, one diamond for one stack, so Let's take both of these. So we should end up with uh, one stack of repeaters. Uh, like that. And uh, yeah. Perfect. Those vines always get out of control. If you remember this tree we built together on camera. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit too much. But anyway, here we are at the entrance of the Kameval. And um, I was imagining that the music would kind of go round here. It takes up a lot of room. It will go in kind of a square here. Um, so it will be triggered somewhere in the middle, I guess. I think I could use some help with that. But um, yeah, we're going underground here and uh, should set up some kind of machine room. Maybe right here. Well, I haven't done any fancy machine room entrance yet, but um, I've started to plan this out. This is right under the fountain, so it's um, in the middle of this construction. And I made a little test in this corner. This is where it will start. Um, and it's... Uh, working so far, <laughs> the first chord there, and um, I've realized that I will need this much space because it's so nice to be able to walk under like this. So if you need to go back and fix something it's uh, an easy access. So now it's time to remove all this. I decided to clear out this area section for section instead. It's no fun clearing out too much <laughs> at a time and uh, this way I don't clear out anything that I don't have to. And I'm trying to get a workflow going here. Uh, so I need space to go uh, under and also space above. So, placing instruments, guitars, 
flute, bell and chimes and uh, the way I think uh, work fast is, is by having a reference note and I have a um, little instrument on my phone so <laughs> this is what I do I know all the notes in uh, forehand because I made this arrangement um, so I just play the note and, and then I click the note block until it fits there next one and let's see now this is gonna be a D oh I went too far I think so just go there it is and the chimes the same note but one octave higher there it is <laughs> um, and then I see how long uh, I wanted to take until the next chord and uh, it will be fast, so I'll leave this at one tick. So this sounds like this now. Let's see if I got it right. Um, I got it wrong. <laughs> I think the three melody instruments just need to go up one. Like that, actually. laggy okay that's it so this is the process so it takes some time and I also am almost out of wood it needs an insane amount of uh, uh, wood to make those uh, note blocks so let's see if we can sleep it's not quite night time yet but are we prepared? Yeah, let's go to the wood shop and get some more wood. There it is. Let's see if we can get in on the first go for once. Oh yes. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what I buy. It feels wrong to buy birch wood because I have so much at my base. Let's go for oak. Uh, one diamond. Okay, and let's see if this is uh, enough for one stack. Oh, I'm a little full in my inventory. Um, this will be four stacks. Let's do like this and like that. Perfect. Uh, okay, so I need one more log to get one stack of note blocks. So let's pay buy another. Nice, that will keep us going for a little while. A big jump cut now, but it's finished. It took some time um, clearing out this area, transporting the materials away from here and uh, mining for more redstone now and then and uh, of course building this construction but it's done and uh, it sounds the way it should so by default the music uh, starts here and go 
one lap around here, comes down this way and makes a last chord. However, there is an option that to um, flick a lever and then instead of the pulse going this way, it continues here and go around again. That way it will play forever until you flick the lever one more time. So now all I've got to do is uh, connect this up to this area, the Comeval entrance. That shouldn't be a problem for a redstone professional. <coughs> So I made it real simple with just a pressure plate and the idea is if you're going in here when some more minigames are built of course into the chemical um, area you might be running through here the music starts and uh, you continue on your way music stops and you're in the minigame area but then if you want to go around here, uh, you know, buy tickets and uh, such, and you want more music, you flick the lever, you have to run over the pressure plate again. And uh, yeah, you can go around, meet the, the villager that will be here, I think, buy your ticket and uh, do other stuff. And when you're satisfied, you just flick the sliver again. If I can reach it, there it is. <laughs> yeah, and it will stop. So, for me, this is, uh, this is progress. This is, uh, yeah, a new world for me with uh, all this redstone. And uh, I'm really beginning to enjoy it, actually. And we might need it in the next episode, because then we are going to take a closer look at this frightening skull over there. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching this episode. Hit the like button if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>